So it's time to level up your brand and change your YouTube channel name and create a custom URL for your YouTube channel. And this is the newest way to do it. So in this video, if you wanna to skip to the different parts, there's time codes and chapters, so you can just click those. But first, we're gonna talk about how to change your YouTube channel name then how to claim your custom URL and the requirements that you need for it. And also, what if you wanna remove your custom URL and claim a new one? We're gonna cover all of that. You gotta just press record. So step number one is you're gonna to go to customization or channel customization. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can start on your homepage when you're logged into your YouTube channel and you can go to customize channel or from the back end in your dashboard, when you're looking at your YouTube studio, scroll down to the magic wand and you can go to customization. Inside of here next, you're gonna wanna go to basic info. Here, right at the top, it says channel name and description. What you're gonna do is click this edit channel name and you're going to change it to the new name that you want to update. We are shifting our second YouTube channel from Think Marketing to the Think Media Podcast channel. And so you simply type in Think Media Podcast, make sure I got the right spaces and every other detail and click publish and you are good to go. Now, quick disclaimer here is that if your channel is verified and you've got the little gray check mark, you will lose verification if you change your channel name. You can reapply and hopefully you get reaccepted, but that's just a quick disclaimer if your channel is a little bit bigger. Now, quick tip that a lot of people don't know about, if you want to make your channel more discoverable for different languages, you can scroll down a little bit to this blue plus sign and it, where it says add language under basic info, and you can actually add translations of your channel name and your channel description. So something you might want to consider doing. If you're finding this video helpful so far, smash the like button and let's keep going. Next, let's create a custom URL. Now, a few details that you need to know. First of all, when you create a new YouTube channel, it has a channel URL. That is the standard web address for your channel. It includes your channel idea and which numbers and letters are at the end of the URL. And it's this crazy URL that you can see right here, youtube.com forward slash channel forward slash a bunch of characters. So your goal is to actually create a custom URL because you want to update your branding, unify it with your website or your social media accounts, and ultimately have a shorter and easy to remember URL that's not a bunch of characters, but it's YouTube forward slash cool URL. Now to create your first custom URL, you need a couple things. You need 100 or more subscribers. Your channel has to be at least 30 days old. So if you create a new channel, you're gonna have to wait for a while. You have to have uploaded a profile picture and you also have to have uploaded a banner image. And we actually have a whole series on that. You can click or tap the YouTube card or we'll link to that in the description down below of how to do setting up your channel, custom banner images, profile pictures, and all that. So check that out if you haven't watched that series. Now, final note before we talk about how to do it, YouTube says that they reserve the right to change, reclaim, or remove custom URLs at any time. For example, they may reclaim a custom URL that is associated with a deleted Google account. But here's how you do it. Make sure you're signed into your YouTube studio. And then in the same area, you're gonna click customization, the magic wand, go to custom URL, and you're going to enter your custom URL there that you want your channel to be. Now, when we started this channel after 30 days, we claimed Think Marketing for our custom URL, but actually I want to change my custom URL and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. But if you're just setting a custom URL for the first time, click Publish, then click Confirm and your custom URL will be confirmed assuming it's available. Now the note that YouTube makes here is once a custom URL has been set up, you can't change it or transfer the URL to somebody else. Potentially that URL is lost unless Google reclaims it, YouTube reclaims it someday in the future. But let's go on to the next tip. How do you remove a custom URL and claim a new one? First, make sure you're signed into the YouTube studio. Second, from the left menu, select customization and then basic info and then under your current custom URL, click delete. Next, that brings me to this Google account page where I'm going to click next to the YouTube custom URL and I am going to click remove under who can see your custom URL. I just refreshed the page and now you can see that the custom URL is gone on this Google account page and back on channel customization, I'll click refresh. 
under customization, basic info. And once again, you can see there is no custom URL. So now I'm going to set up a new custom URL. Now this is kind of a cool thing. You can actually see that it is going to suggest the name of my channel, which is what I want the custom URL to be. We want it actually to be youtube.com forward slash C, that stands for channel, I think, forward slash think media podcast. So I could just click here and that's the recommended name, turning my channel name into the custom URL. Or if I wanted to add letters or numbers after that, I would have that option here. Here at Think, we thought this through and really made this pivot of branding decision. So we want it to be exactly that. Think Media Podcast is the channel name. Think Media Podcast as the custom URL. So I'm going to click publish. Now here's what YouTube says. They say, if you're eligible to claim a new custom URL straight away, you just use the steps above that I just showed, it may take a couple of days for the previous URL to be deactivated. And if you have any questions about custom URLs, of course, you can check out Google's information and we'll link resources in the description below. And if you didn't know that we have a second channel where we post our weekly video podcast, the Think Media podcast, as well as deeper dive YouTube trainings, definitely check it out and subscribe. In fact, if you haven't seen my new video on the five new YouTube changes that you need to make right now or else you'll regret it later, then click or tap the screen to watch that video right now. It's over on the Think Media Podcast channel and I will see you on that video.